just sort of summarize Halo, what you're setting out to, what you're doing, um, where you're at in your stage? Uh, so basically Halo uh, Coffee was founded in 2016 and with the express mission really was to change the way that the coffee capsule market uh, was going. You know, we realized at the time that you, the planet couldn't carry on by using plastics, metals, and all these other products that were cheap to make, but incredibly difficult to either recycle or would end up in landfill. So Halo's mission has always been to make sure to do things fundamentally differently from anybody else. Do you think the last 12 months has accelerated um, sustainability in the consumer agenda in any way? Obviously, your product will have enjoyed a spike i'm sure with more people being at home but do you think the sustainability has grown in the priority list of consumer choices yeah my personal view is that this 12 months has allowed people or almost more forced people into looking at what their lives are about you know we we were just sort of traveling along on this travel later everybody just going ahead doing what they do every day no change needed because there was no reason to change this has forced people to really start to look at themselves look at their lives look at how vulnerable they are as human beings and i know that sounds a little bit deep but it i think it has a lot to do with why people are actually looking at the sustainable side of things because they've looked at their own mortality in some respects and the mortality of their children and the people who are going to follow them, which has made them suddenly go, actually, I need to be a little bit more considerate about what I buy, where I put it, you know, how I throw it away, all of those things. Is there anything that this last 12 months, uh, any adaptation this last 12 months has forced or kind of led you to adopt that actually is a really positive change that you can apply and will we'll stay around for a while. None of the packaging's changed because we haven't needed to change it because it was it is all home compostable. We haven't gone, oh, we'll do that in this one and then have to look at making it home compostable. We did it from the get-go. Um, so we've, in reality, we've just tried to, to, where we started was a point where we thought, we start here, we do all the hard work now, we shouldn't have to do it further down the line. So, um, no, we actually haven't really made any changes so far. I'd love to hear you talk a bit about compostable technologies um, and how obviously it's central to your business, um, mm-hmm. but um, be good to hear what your, what your future prospects are um, for, for compostability in general. This will hugely depend upon suppliers and how much they are willing to invest in making their supply chain and what they produce compostable. Um, you know, I've always had the, <laughs> had the misfortune over over four years or so of going to the uh, packaging shows up at uh, NEC, which are always a riveting, riveting event, yeah. you know. I mean, they're not bad, but they, they do are a bit like, oh, okay, it's packaging. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the thing I noticed over those four years is that there is a green section, but it never expands. So I think until those suppliers, and there are one or two out there who have actually made the investment, so they're going to be ahead of the game when it either becomes law that people have to make certain products out of compostable items because there's no reason for it not to happen you know the technology exists you know you do have bio laminates now you have the issues obviously within the whole compostable world is that people don't understand the difference between industrially compostable and home compostable yeah. so you have these many problems it's all about education but as far as i'm concerned in terms of what should happen my view is that most companies should be actively looking at making products out of compostable materials. You know, compostable materials now can be made waterproof. Now, yes, there are, there are issues. There are always going to be difficulties. And obviously there's freshness questions, et cetera, et cetera. But I just don't think the companies are doing enough because of it means, oh, well, it's going to add an extra amount of money uh, to my price. But I think most consumers, if given the choice, they would, probably say well i'm willing to pay an extra 2p if this can end up going in my garden as opposed to it ending up in landfill it's about education what keeps you smiling and feeling good about the future (laughs) it keeps me smiling (laughs) the sun shining here in espertini that's what keeps me smiling um no uh, i think it goes back to what i was saying earlier on which is the fact that i think that people have had a a mind you know a mindset change 
uh, and they do understand that the world has to be looked after and they are part and parcel of that solution. And it's going to be down to government and it's going to be down to, as I say, other, other con companies, but it's down to the consumer. And, you know, we are seeing that those the consumers are making those changes because they can see that they have to, because I think people are making those changes and making those decisions for themselves. Yeah, I agree. The future is in our hands. Um, so it should yeah, give us a lot to keep smiling. But thank you so much.